How's it going everybody? Today in this video what I'm going to be showing you is how to delete a record without using any external apps, just using what's inside Airtable, just the native functionality. It's going to be a really easy automation and I'm going to break out of my comfort zone and I, I didn't write this. I give credit to Kuvan on the community forum. Kuvan also shows up a lot on Off The Record, one of the shows that is on this channel. But in this, rec in this video, you're gonna see how to delete your record in Airtable with a very simple automation. So stick around for that. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS, and we help businesses with these same exact things, except primarily no code. This is one of the two solutions that I use code with in Airtable. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right in. All right, so I'm just gonna shrink this down. We have this Airtable base right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a checkbox where if you check it, what it's gonna do is it's gonna delete that record. So that's what this automation is basically. You have your own ideas in your mind of why you would wanna delete a record and the record conditions per se that would match the conditions of wanting to delete that record. And so you can come up with your trigger yourself. I'm just gonna give you the action. And this is only gonna delete one record in this video. We're just deleting one record at a time. So if you wanna delete multiple, you might have to think of different relationships that you can use. For example, you want to delete everything in the room. You could check every single box here, or what you could do is you could say delete childs. It sounds a little bit aggressive, but if we say delete childs for Nacho's room, the child records for Nacho's room is if we look up that delete record from measurements. So in this table, I should give you a little background. Measurements are linked to rooms. So one room has many measurements. So Nacho's room has these four measurements and here we can see the checkbox right here. Uh, versus here, we, we have to check this on each one. So now if I wanna go delete Ben's room, we can delete that. So maybe I'll just use both of these. So now I'm gonna go up into automations in the top right corner, hit automations, and then go create a custom automation. And I'm gonna name this delete measurements. So your trigger could be, well, for me, it's gonna be on the measurements table. And I'll actually include both these scenarios. I wasn't planning on do it, doing that, but I'll just include both. So it could either be that delete is checked or it could be that that lookup field, delete childs is checked too. So one or the other, I'm fine with either. So, all right, so it's okay. This one says and, so rookie mistake here for Ben. This needs to be or, so I, it could be either of these. Like either I'm deleting everything like from the parent or I'm just deleting an individual from the child. So we're gonna change this to or, but you can come up again with your own trigger conditions to make, make it work for you. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an action. And this is where I, again, I really, I only have, I try to do everything without scripts but this is one of two scenarios that I ever use in Airtable with a script because Airtable just doesn't have this functionality. So it's a really simple four line script and I'm gonna throw this in the description. So it'll be right at the top of the description right after first paragraph there. So just go down there and copy this. Now word of warning when you copy this, you might just wanna make sure that the apostrophes and that the quotes come in like this when you copy it. So it should come in just like this, like with these quotes. Sometimes I don't, I don't know that I'll be able to replicate it, but it, if you end up having issues with this, I would come in here and replace your quotes. Just delete them and type them in. Delete the apostrophe and retype the apostrophe. All right, so you should be able to copy this exact, these four lines right here. And again, this is from Kuvan. Kuvan wrote this four line script. Uh, she wrote it and she put it on the community forum, I believe. So here, you're gonna put input variables. So you're opening up the script editing interface right here from automations. So we're gonna use these two input variables. And the first thing that we need to add is record ID. So we're gonna say record ID. And I always put the I in capitals. And actually wait, this is the only input variable that we need. And for this, the value right here, we're gonna pull from the step one of the automation. So it's gonna be from, it's gonna trigger individually on each record. Uh, so if you're deleting everything in Nacho's room, it's gonna delete each record individually. Or if you're just deleting one record at a time, obviously it's gonna run individually. So we choose the record ID from step one. So to get there, 
blue plus continue through step one or like whichever step contains the record ID that you want to delete and then Airtable record ID right there. So again, you hit the, hit the blue plus, continue through step one, and then Airtable record ID hit insert. Now the only other thing we need to change is you need to change what's in between these quotes right here to the name of the table. So for me, it's measurements, and that should be it. So now, yeah, we'll switch it to on. I usually like to test it first, but Airtable's changed some of their testing stuff recently. So let's delete these. Well, let's delete the delete me so we can test this. Now if we test that, see if it works, and it looks like it works. So now we can delete all those. You can see those get picked off. If you accidentally delete something, you should be able to see it up here in the little trash can. So you can see I deleted, automations deleted these from measurements. And now, just for the fun of it, let's uncheck these and then recheck Ben's room. Checked all of those at one time and those now match the conditions. So you can see all of those automations ran perfectly. You can see they're all successful over here. So again, you define your trigger and then the script is just this really simple four line script. I'm gonna throw it in the description and you just add the one input, which is record with a capital I or record ID for the I, I and ID and then input that record ID and that's it. So I hope you gain value from this. If you are curious about how instead of deleting a record, you wanna update a record in Airtable, uh, this video right here in the end screen has two ways in which you can update a record. So if you're curious about two different ways you wanna do that, then go check out that video right there and I hope to see you there. Uh, again, it's that video you can just click, click, yeah, click on the box in the end screen and it'll take you right to how to update a record in Airtable. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in that video about how to update a record.